Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this face makeup. This is kind of an update on some of the newer items that I tried in first impressions videos and everything and I'm just going to tell you my updated thoughts on those. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see what I think about some of the products I've been testing out, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I am just going to be putting on my makeup and kind of updating you guys on what I think about this stuff. A lot of it is newer stuff I've been testing out. Within the last couple of months there are like my five first impression videos or my full face of first impression videos, all of that. I think a lot of this stuff is new-ish. The only thing is I'm going to be using my same primer so that I can test to see if this foundation is breaking me out or if it was the primer that broke me out. So my skin is actually pretty clear right now. I had a little breakout right here, but I it is clearing up quite a bit. So I'm just going to start out. My face is washed, moisturized. Obviously my eyes are already done. So going in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, I just take a little bit of that and I focus it where I have bigger pores. Normally I spray first, oh well. Going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I feel like that adds a lot of moisture back into my skin, but that primer really fills my pores. Last time I tested out this foundation, I used a new primer as well, and something broke me out really bad. I'm really hoping it's not this foundation because that would make me very sad. I'm gonna go in, so this is the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Foundation. This foundation seriously looks and feels so good on the skin. I'm just really hoping that this is not what broke me out. So I'm going in with the shade Beige and then I'm gonna add a little bit of light tan as well. So last time I used this foundation, that night when I took my makeup off, I had these big, really painful blemishes. I'm just buffing this out with the Morphe M439. And then the following couple of days, I had some pretty bad breakouts. So I don't know if it was this foundation, I don't know. I waited till my skin cleared up a lot to test this out again. So I can't really update you guys on this one because I did, this is only the second time I'm using it, but fingers crossed it's not what broke me out. But when I did test this out in the foundation wear test I did on this, it wore so nicely throughout the day. It's a really pretty foundation. This is where I broke out, right there, really, really badly. forehead with a sponge. Another new product I have been testing out is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I have the shade Fair. This is not fair. This is a pretty dark fair concealer. So I, I'm not like extremely fair. So if you're lighter than me, I don't really think this concealer will work for you. I wish they would come out with more shades. Other than the shade, I really like this concealer. I've really been liking it. I think it blends out really nicely. It is has a very pretty finish and it's very light on the skin. So I have been liking this concealer as well. I just wish they did come out with a lighter shade. Well, 
I think that that concealer is really nice. It's more of a hydrating concealer. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me and then set that. Another newer thing I've been testing out is this eyeliner. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. And it is this eyeliner pen. I really like this. It goes on really black and it's so easy to create a wing with it. And I suck at winged liner. So if I say that it's easy for me, I would say it is right up there with my NYX Epic Ink eyeliner. And that one's like one of my holy grails. Like that is one of the best eyeliner pens I've ever used. So then I'm just going to pick up any excess powder on the Morphe E41 and just set the rest of my face. Fingers crossed. I really hope this isn't what broke me out. I hope I just had a random breakout. I also used the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara on my lashes again today, which I did a review and a wear test on this mascara. And I'm still testing it out, but every time I use it, I really do like it. To contour, I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This was just in my monthly favorites video, but I really, really like this. Physician's Formula has a lot of great stuff. I want to test out their new foundation, but I'm not sure. I also want to do a video... I want to go back on my channel and look at some of my holy grail products that I used to use and try those out again now that my preferences and everything has kind of changed and just see how I feel about those products now. Like if they're still awesome, if I still would recommend them. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I think that would kind of be a fun video. So I'm gonna take this ashy shade right here to contour my nose. Take my Hoola bronzer. This is the original one. I've been stuck on the Hoola light and I really like that one. But that it's summer I'll probably reach for this one a lot more. Another new thing that I have been loving is this Wet n Wild Rose in the Air eyeshadow palette. I obviously didn't use it on my eyes today but this is really nice. Their new eyeshadow palettes are so nice. I know they're not new, like very new. They have been out for a while but they are good. They are really good. I don't like a lot of eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore. Like at all. That's one thing that I use more. Not so much high end because I will use like my Morphe palettes, but I definitely like higher end eyeshadows. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. This blush does have shimmer in it. But for the summer, I like blushes like this. It's so pretty and they have such good pigment and it just has a light sheen like it's not very shimmery. I do like this. This is in the shade pearlescent pink. I really like Wet n Wild and Wet n Wild is one of the most affordable drugstore brands out there and they come out with some of the best drugstore products. And loving is this Milani Stellar Lights Rose Glow Highlighter. If I mean I can't put this down since I got it, this has just been a favorite uh, staple item that I am constantly using. It has been in favorites videos and everything. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush and pick up the pearl shade. This has been in basically every video I think I've done since I got it. And favorites.
favorites videos. So that's not, I didn't really need to update you on that one because obviously I just am using it and using it. They do have another one. I was at the store yesterday looking and they have another one and it's kind of more of the weird color ones where it, I think it had like a purple and an orange. I don't really like those. Like it's just not practical for me to use those colors. So this one is perfect. I really like this. So pretty, so pretty. I'm trying to think if there were any flops. I'm gonna look through my videos a little bit. The Urban Decay concealer all-nighter concealer I don't really like that someone did comment and say that it's really good for cut creases I should have done that today but I use my Tarte Shape Tape but I will try that maybe in an upcoming video I will test it out that way I just don't like it under my eyes you can see well I don't know if you can see but I have quite a bit of texture under my eyes I have really creasy under eyes so a super drying formula like that just a hundred percent will not work for my under eyes the NARS foundation I still am really liking and I think I'm really gonna love it this summer. The pure eyeshadow palette I still do not like. I like the pretty vulgar blush. I'm just trying to update you guys on some of the stuff that I've been testing out. The Flower Beauty foundation, the Light Illusion one is still really pretty and I really do like that one. Now a lot of the newer stuff I've been using have really been working for me so I'm like super excited about that. I've been loving these lipsticks, these Lorac Highly Pigmented Lipsticks. So I think I'm gonna go in with these. I have the shade Jet Setter, which is a more purpley one, purple pinky. And then I'm gonna do Minimalist on the center. And then I'm gonna go over the top of it with this Ulta Beauty High Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the shade, nope. Nope, doesn't have a shade, but it looks very iridescent. It has purple and it's almost a like duochrome where it's purpley and then it's like green. Then I'm gonna go in and spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus. Just taking that same highlighter and highlighting my inner corner and right under my brow. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I did film this eye look, so I will link that down below and in the eye over here if you wanna check it out. But this is the finished look. I actually really love how it turned out. I kind of got to update you guys on some of the newer stuff that I've been testing out, some of my thoughts. I will list all the products down below in the description box like I usually do. But yeah, those are my updated thoughts. If you guys like these kind of videos, and like to hear what I think about the products now, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post three videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.